Aurora police are still desperate for tips about the drive by shooting that injured six students outside Aurora Central on Monday. Within the hour, police announced that they found the SUV believed to be involved. No arrests. The victims are cooperating, according to investigators, but we know that it's often hard to convince witnesses that they'll be safe offering up information to police, especially when gangs may be involved. Our Steve Steger looks at what's being done to change that. The partnership between the city and the community is critical. Christina Amparan has a tough job getting the community to trust its government. When the community feels some level of ownership of, of what's happening with the, their community, they're going to be a lot more likely to pick up the phone and call the police. She's the Youth Violence Prevention Coordinator, been on the job here in Aurora for seven months. She spent the last 15 years working in violence prevention in general. We have to recognize that for these families, a lot of this behavior is normalized. It's part of how they live. It's part of how they grow up. They grow up um, learning that it's not OK to speak to the police. It's not OK to report. Amparan says fear of police is one obstacle. Fear of retaliation for talking is another. That's why she says more and more law enforcement is learning having someone to stick up for the person who's just been through trauma is important. And heavily working with the victim advocates, heavily working with investigators to ensure that we're looking at um, possible um, short term relocation, that we're looking at mental health supports. Um, financial supports is another thing. That kind of help can truly make a difference. Wanting to provide that safety plan, that safety support, those connections to services that we need to address that individualized fear or that individualized support. Another reason why Christina says those victims advocates are so important is that police also deal with reoccurring trauma. Responding to so many similar calls can make them numb, Kyle, which tends to change the way they relate with somebody in a crisis. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're a little bit more curt in that kind of situation. Yeah, might not be the best person to deliver information and then perhaps even receive information in return. Steve, thank you.